First of all, I apologize for being absent for so long. It was not my intention to delay. But I do apologize for burdening the ministers. I will not say much regarding the ministers who were arrested the other day. It is the duty of the Minister of Law to expose their crimes and deliver punishment. However, I want the Minister of Law to remember that I was the one who ordered their arrest. Are you trying to threaten me, Your Majesty? Three generals of the Royal Army have offered me their resignation, and I have accepted. That can't be. And I've appointed Seishin, the former general of the Provincial Army of Baku, to the post of General of the Royal Army. <gasps> Kantai. Your Majesty. You may select the Major General and Lieutenant General. You are to lead the army on behalf of the throne. Yes, understood, Your Majesty. Kokon. Your Majesty. You will serve as the Chosai from today on. Please put forth a new policy for the court. Yes, very well, Your Majesty. Oh. Absurd! He was the Lord suspected of treason! What is it that you're trying to do to this kingdom? Also, I appoint Saibo, the Minister of Baku, as the new Lord of Wa Province. Furthermore, Shohaku shall join the royal court as the Taishi. I cancel the order of exile of the Taihu and the Taiho, huh? and I give them back their old posts. In addition to these changes, there will be other major alterations in the court. As long as you have nothing to hide, there is no reason for you to be concerned about it. Now, everyone stand up! Your Majesty... Keiki, I want you to listen as well. I do not like to be worshipped by people, nor do I like the fact that there are ranks amongst the townspeople. I do not like when I cannot see a person's face, either. It bothers me to see people prostrate themselves before me and others in a subservient Your way. Your Majesty, wait! From today forth, I hereby repeal the custom of prostration with the exceptions of official ceremonies and diplomatic affairs. From now on, people are only to bow from kneeling or standing positions. That's unheard of! Your Majesty... I have decided. There are those who may feel looked down upon because of this. I am not concerned with feelings of that nature. Those type of people who have to reinforce their status by making others bow down to them will simply have to adjust to it. Rather, what I believe is that it's more problematic to lose your faith or confidence because you've been forced to be submissive. Just think of it, Keiki. When people show their gratitude or respect, they can now bow to each other in a more compassionate and honorable way, free from anxiety. It is only natural for one person to treat another with respect. And whether one does that or not is totally up to one's moral character. And there is nothing more to it. That may be true. However... I want each of the citizens of K to feel as if they are their own ruler. If you use your status to demand others to bow down to you, you would soon get used to looking down upon others. Then you would be no better of a person than Shoko, or Gaho for that matter. And I completely understand how those who are looked down upon feel. People aren't meant to be the slave of anybody. And they are not born to be slaves. It takes a strong mind to withstand insult and disaster. One that is not afraid to correct wrongs and who will not subject themselves to corruption in any form. I want the people of K to have such freedom and strength. I want each of them to become the master of themselves. So we must start by holding our heads high and moving forward with strength. You asked me if I had any idea what I was doing to the Kingdom of K. And I hope all of this answers your question. And so I hereby repeal the practice of prostration. Let this declaration be my first ordinance. <laughs>